We continue to learn more uh, stories about the people injured during that shooting on Saturday night. One of those victims speaking to our Andrew Epperson. He joins us now with more on this. And Andrew, how is she doing this evening? Physically, she's going to be okay, Bob, but emotionally, she doesn't know if she'll ever fully recover. Mentally, I am not okay, and I can only imagine how those kids feel. Brittany Allen lives in northwest Arkansas, but comes back to her hometown, Dumas, every year for the Hoodnick Car Show. It's fashion in this event. I've had, personally, I've known people who have been victims of gun violence, so this has been near and dear to my heart. She says she was hanging out with her sisters when a fight started brewing nearby. Then I just hear some really faint gunshots. They really sound just like firecrackers almost. In the the chaos that ensued. Allen says a little girl tripped and fell down. I stood up, got her, and as I tried to take off again, I felt the bullet hit the back of my leg. Allen says it didn't hurt. It just felt like heat. I still had my adrenaline pumping. I was able to still run with the little girl, thank God. And she was protected. She didn't get harmed. So I can see that your leg's wrapped up. Can you just tell me the bullet's path? Yes, yeah, so I initially got hit here in the back of my calf. And the bullet traveled to this side and got launched. Allen says she wound up at a Dumas hospital alongside many other victims, including 23-year-old Cameron Schaefer, who died. I actually watched him wheel him in doing CPR. PR, but unfortunately he didn't make it and that really traumatized me. Surgeons removed this bullet. Today was the first day it really dawned on me like you were shot and you could have died. Allen says she doesn't know how long recovery will take, but she hopes by the time she's back on her feet, the shooters will be in jail. Innocent lives were lost. People were in danger and although I'm alive, I physically have trauma now from this that I may never come back to. Allen says if the Hoodnick event returns next year, she'll be here. She says it's more important now than ever to promote the event's main message, nonviolence. Live in Dumas, Andrew Epperson, KARK 4 News.